Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video, and this is going to be a video where we're going to do the Easy A area, um, the Oob Easy A area, and we'll do the two new stages for the story event, um, and grind up, uh, Oob as well, right? So there we go, Oob is added to it. Uh, this Oob is a pretty decent unit, you definitely guys should make sure you grind him up, get this Easy A area done. Uh, I did take a peek at the Easy A area. And it looks like the required characters for this are just these three. So it's like, if you've gotten the previous EZAs done for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Boo, you're probably going to wreck this. So let's go ahead and do the two new stages, right? Um, we'll get Oob. Uh, I'll go ahead and, you know, rainbow him, stuff like that. We'll come back into the EZA area, um, and we will go ahead and take everything down. So I'll do a mix. I'll do some LRs, you know, to give us the increased um, category drop bonus. But then I also have um, quite a few units, uh, you know, around Link Level 1 that I'd like to level up as well. There's a bunch of characters that we don't have cards of. End of Boo Saga, Goten, Vegeta, and Trunks. I think we all could get cards for all of those characters um, at some point, right? Because um, it definitely... I mean, that Trunks, I guess he would just have the same name as the, the Trunks from the Android Saga, but um, he would be for the Boo Saga, right? I, I think they really should do that. Honestly, I think, like, this Goku probably is, like, LR worthy, but, I mean, it would be another LR base form Goku uh, in the Boo Saga, right? Because we've already got the 1,000-day Goku or, you know, 2,000-day Goku after EZ8, who is just, like different right he 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 is just different okay so here's our boy oob again i think oob is a very good idea here as a potential like sort of easy unit um I, I think they actually did a very very good thing here by you know doing this with oob um and then you know we've got the lr oob uh we potentially could see i don't know that oob is ever like going to be dokkan fest exclusive worthy but you know we could get another standalone maju at some point and then of course the old maju um, very easily could get an easy A, right? Um, and he probably is going to at some point from uh, that hero and villain extermination event. Um, maybe potentially right around the six-year anniversary, if it is GT-themed, uh, we could see Majub and then that EGL Super Saiyan 2 GT Kid Goku um, both get Dokkan Awakenings, which I think would be very, very interesting. All right, so we did get a copy of um, our boy Ubin. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah, that Vegeta, I've definitely been grinding up his links Um there's uh, uh, at least two Super Battle Road runs where I'm actually, uh, no item runs where I'm probably going to try and use that Vegeta. Um, Revived Warriors, I'm going to use them, I think, as a leader. Um, and then I'm also going to try and use them in the Vegeta family stage, I think, as well. Um, because those, the, the Vegeta and Goku, like, their defense is, like, really, really good after they get just, like, three orbs before they transform. Um, and then, like... I don't think the transformations will be too easy for, like, Vegeta and Goku in the extreme category Super Battle Road stages. Because, I mean, yeah, those fights can go, you know, five, six, seven turns. But, like, by the time there's one enemy left, like, the transformation is probably not going to happen because they're not going to be above 80% HP. Like, just with, with the way, like, those fights go, right? So, I mean, we'll see, right? All right, so stage, the first stage gives us the Oob uh, character. Um, and then this stage is where we're going to go ahead and get the medals. Um, now, again, another reason this is really good that they're doing this with Oob is because Oob, of course, is a character that previously, like this version, Oob Youth, there previously was two other cards of Oob, but they both were SRs from the World Tournament. Like, one of them is an SR from, like, the first Japanese World Tournament, like, literally 500 years ago. So, I, actually, I think that art we just saw right there, that was it. I think that was the STR Oob art. So, that's interesting. Um... Fat Boo, of course, the Exchange Majin Buu, another character I've been sort of leveling up here and there. Not a character I use too much in these, you know, no-item runs, which I'm on sort of a kick right now. But, I mean, listen, <laughs> you know, they could have made this unit better if they wanted me to use them for no-item runs in uh, Extreme Super Battle Road. It's just that simple. Like, I, like Extreme Tech, like, I, I haven't really sat down and built, like, a team yet for that. I'll probably try, like, a Double Tech Broly Revived Warrior team or something like that. But, like, I don't even know if I'm going to be using that Boo. Honestly, I, I don't know if he's good enough. Like, he just doesn't... He's I don't know. He's just not good enough. Like, that's, that's just... That's it, right? Like, that fat Boo is fodder. He sucks. Like, basically. Especially compared to Gotenks. Like, not even close. So, yeah, here's where, you know, Goku goes to take Oob off to train for 500 billion, zillion, million years until the start of Dragon Ball GT, right? We'll see what happens um, if Dragon Ball Super is ever going to adapt this or if Dragon Ball Super is even ever going to come back. There's Gohan, by the way, another Gohan card we could potentially get at some point in the future. Um, I don't know if they'll make versions of these characters, but they should. At least the Goten and Trunks. 
they definitely should, right? You know, some extra characters for, like, Hybrid Saiyans is definitely never going to hurt really too much. Um, all right, so we went ahead and we got Oob. We, we did the medals. I always like to get all of the different, like, story stages and stuff like that recorded and sort of on video, right? So now um, I'm going to go ahead and finish grinding up Oob, um, and we will come back uh, once I'm done. Oh, that is... Okay, that's the Piccolo. Uh, that's the, the free-to-play Piccolo from the... Um, the Planet Namek Saga, the the Ginyu Force, uh, like like story event. Um, that's that's the SSR for that Piccolo right there. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, awaken this Oob. Uh, we'll get him, you know, 99%. We'll rainbow him on camera. Then we'll go ahead and hop immediately into the Easy area and see how difficult it's gonna be. I think this stage three is gonna be pretty easy because it's like. You know, it's assuming you did the first two characters, right? And, like, if you're using all three of the, these EZA characters, like, I, I... You know, that Goku is super effective against all types for, what, the first three turns. Like, he's going to destroy this, so... Um, I will be RB. All right, guys, so we got Oob finished up. Let's go ahead and give him the rainbow, and then we'll also go ahead and Dokkan awaken him. So I went with full crit for Oob, because I was thinking, like... You know, if, if I'm going to be using him for the long events, uh, which is, I think, where Oob is going to be at his best, um, in those long events, I, like, usually stunning is not something you can utilize in long events, right? So I, I didn't really think it was necessary to to go for additionals that much. But, I mean, I guess uh, depending upon the situation, right, uh, additionals could be good maybe for, like, some Super Battle Roads or something like that depending upon what the enemies are. Like, if you know you're going up against a Goku enemy or World Tournament enemies, this Oob is actually fairly good. Like, he's a fairly decent character, right? So let's go ahead and level him up. Uh, rainbow him, of course. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into the EZ area. Uh, we do have to have Oob um, uh, Dokkan Awakened in order to uh, jump into the EZ area, right? Because as we can check right here, uh, we need, yep, Oob, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and the Herculean Boo on the team in order to, uh, do this stage. Um, honestly, the roster at this point is quite good, um, to be able to participate in this easy area. I don't really think, um, it's one of those things where, like, if you've gotten at least, like, 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 if this unit is fully easy aid for you, I don't think this should be too tough, because you could use them as your leader. They're gonna be pretty strong and stuff like that, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, Thousand Day Goku here. I mean, I could even rotate between using different teams but considering we're going up against a physical oh wow question mark right away that's pretty good but considering we're going up against a physical enemy like i figured just overloading with str units is the way to go um obviously the uh lr bobbity and deborah uh would be like the best leader for this or well i guess actually it would be thousand day goku after his eza probably but uh, regardless it's pretty good oh okay so we got goku uh right away um, Goku, by the way, is super effective against all types uh, for, what, the first three turns? So he is going to be able to annihilate this Oob. Like, I don't really think we're going to have too many uh, difficulties here. I honestly, just flat out, I just don't really think this event is going to be too tough. Like, I, I mean, I guess, like, looking at it, right, like, it's... Because I'm just thinking, like, now that you would probably have these guys done... Like, look at that. Like, now that you'd probably have these two done, like, that's just a, a complete and utter game changer for this. Like... If, for whatever reason, you didn't do those other EZAs, then, yeah, Oob will be tough to get. But, I mean, here's the thing. Uh, how would I rate them? Well, hmm. Between the three EZAs, which one is the best? Probably the Herculean Boo. I don't know. Oob is good for long events. And, I mean, again, it's not like the, the Goku is not exactly bad either. Like, they're all very solid. Like, again, I, I think Dokkan did a fantastic job with these three free-to-play units um, during this celebration. All three of them are very good. Ano what? Another? What? Nani? Another question mark? That's a W right there. We'll take that. Sure. <laughs> all right, so that's going to cut down uh, the amount of runs I need to do in this. That's pretty good. Uh, one thing I do like with Easy Area, by the way... Um, is the fact that you do still get link levels from doing the easy area, which is really, really nice, right? Um, and then, of course, I, I did bring a Super Saiyan Great Saiyan Man. He's going to be amazing for this stage because he is a support type unit for a Boo Saga, and, like, all these characters are Boo Saga anyway. Um, again, if you've got the free-to-play Goten, he's going to be amazing here. 
right? Depending upon if you put resources into them or what. But, like, you know, type advantage. Like, the thing about these easy areas is if you just use as many type advantage characters as you can, you're probably not going to struggle with things, right? Um, and then, of course, you know, just for the video, I'm just, like, kind of, like, rushing through this. But, you know, as you're doing the stages, you would want to, like, you know, slowly easy a the oob up and up and up and up, right? Ah, that's a, that's Berserker. Yeah, Berserker is a pretty trash link. Not only is it, like, a pretty restrictive, like, character list, but to not activate until it's below, what, like, 50% HP? Like, honestly, Berserker should have been, like, um, Big Bad Bosses. It, they should have made it at link level 10. It should have given you, um berserker just like without an hp restriction that, that like that that was a bad mistake i think dokkan made there's a few links where dokkan definitely did miss right like they they could have done better with uh how they uh you know sort of worked with some of those links right there um all right so let's go ahead and hop into the the true difficult stage right the super stage uh, uh by the way again easy areas take up a decent amount of stamina here so you know link levels are going to happen here uh, the other thing, too, about Thousand Day Goku is he is an HP regen unit, huh? So, like, with that HP regen, like, that's going to be something, like, you know, way less we're going to have to worry about. Like, you know, because let, let's say you eat, like, a stray super attack or something like that, and you've got him. You'll be able to heal up quite a bit. But, obviously, I am well aware that Thousand Day Goku, like, most people aren't going to have him even still, right? Um, again, Thousand Day Goku is a good leader here. Bobby and Deborah. Um, I think the, the Hercule... Uh, slash Boo is another good leader. I think the STR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku from the Battlefield Shop is another uh, potentially solid character that you could use as a leader. Um, and then, of course, if you've got the like the, the good new characters, right? If you've got Tien, Super Saiyan, Great Saiyan Man, Deborah, Boo Piccolo, they all are very good. Um, even AGL West Kai. AGL West Kai probably is going to be a pretty decent option as well. Um, because if you've got her Dokkan Awakened, obviously, you know, it's, she's only got her Dokkan Awakening on JP, right? But AGL West Kai, with her Dokkan Awakening, will activate that guard ability after she gets hit once, and then she guards the rest of the turn. That is ridiculously powerful, right? Like, I've even thought about using her, uh, in some extreme Super Battle Road no-item attempt runs, so... Like, that should show you how solid that that AGL West Kai actually is. So, we'll do uh, one more run. How about I... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one more run. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and toss my Hercule and Boo as leader. Um, just so I could sort of, like, you know, just do a run. Uh, where is Hercule and Boo? There they are right there. Um, okay, and we'll replace with one more. Let me try and go for, like, a free-to-play option here, I think. Um, I mean, the SCR Fat Boo is... Like, I, he's not free to play, but he, this, the boy's been around for a very long time. How about we go Grey Saiyan 1 and 2? I mean, that's that's easily free to play. So let's go ahead and hop in with this, right? Again, you got Hercule and Boo done. You got their EZA done. You, I don't think there's really going to be too many struggles here. Uh, again, because they are a pretty good defensive unit. And then, you know, you just have a lot of very good characters that are going to be able to be rocked on this. Like, they didn't make this EZA area very tough at all. Um, even, honestly, like, there's a, a shit ton of... Uh, leader options, right? Usually, I feel like there's not as many leader options as we have this turn. Alright, so we'll just keep the rotation like this, I guess. Um, and we'll see if Oob is capable of doing any damage. I mean, this Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I think, potentially could take some damage here. I mean, I assume a lot of people probably got this guy Dokkan Awakened, but didn't rainbow him. Alright, so that rainbow D is taking double digits right there. Um, because I know a lot of players are hesitant to put in resources, uh, for a lot of these units. Uh, remember, make sure you are doing the orb stages every single day. Like, there's no reason to never not do the orb stage, right? Because, like, you know, making your characters more powerful. Because I got people saying, like, do you do the orb stage every day? It's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're fucking right, I do. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> of course, no way I'm missing an orb, uh, an orb stage. Are you kidding me? Like, as of right now, I've yet to see anyone, uh, an account have more rainbows than me. Like, I've not seen a Dokkan account with more rainbow units than me. So, you know, I got to maintain that lead, right? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Yeah, Super Saiyan Grey Saiyan, he demolishes this. He's so good for this, right? Because he's got type advantage. He's giving key to super class Buu Saga units and attack and defense. That's the entire team. We're, we're using an entire super class team right there, right? So he's buffing everyone. You know, TN would work the same. But, you know, TN, that's another character. I can't exactly expect players to have TN right now, right? TN and Buu Piccolo... You know, you might as well have LR Vegito and LR Butangs, right? It's the same thing. They have the same rates. They're, you know, featured on that, that only that banner. 
Well, I mean, they're also unfeatured on the LR Vegeta banner, but whatever. All right, so there we go. So that doesn't seem that bad. Again, but th this is assuming you have the first couple units easy aid, then this is going to be, I think, pretty much child's play. Um, but leader, you know, which leader you're going to use definitely is going to be a huge factor here. Again, this Goku right there, um, Hercule and Boo, Thousand Day Goku, and then Bobby and Debora. But Bobby and Debora, of course, are a JP only unit. Thousand Day Goku is, you know, you have to log in for a thousand days. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and fully easy Oob. I'll level up some, his links. We'll do a video on him. I still got to do a lot of videos on like Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta Rainbow and shit like that. So that'll all be coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all next time.